Hello, my name is Damien Aguilar. I've been invited here by my great, great, great grandpa. Uh, you may have heard of him, Emiliano. I said he was supposed to be an actor. I'm not sure how successful he was, but I'm here to talk to y'all today about designer babies and why I'm here because I am one. I'm one of the first generation of millions of children all across the world who have been designed. Now, what is a designer baby? Well, uh, you guys actually kind of have it in what, 2018? Yeah? Okay. Well, you have something called in vitro fertilization, which is uh, what is the process of fertilization by extracting eggs, retrieving a sperm sample, and then manually combining an egg and sperm in the laboratory dish, according to the American Pregnancy Foundation. So that's basically what a designer baby is. You put me into a dish, and then the scientists use this thing called CRISPR. Now CRISPR is an invention uh, in 2013, I believe, uh, which consists of a single strand of RNA and 20 bases of which can be designed to match any gene in any genome. The cut DNA can be left in this form, inactivating the gene it is part of, or alternative, alternative DNA sequences can be used as templates for homology-directed repair or editing of the cut genome, according to the latest fashion in design of babies. Layman's terms, genome, CRISPR, scientists, put another genome in, then you can fix stuff, you can be athletic, you can have an affinity for music, you can be smarter, and some scientists thought that wasn't possible, but it is. They just haven't found the gene yet. <coughs> See, I was designed. 48.6% of every strand of my DNA has been designed by a scientist. So that is, I was told I had to bring a cultural artifact or bring in a presentation, I guess, or bring in the cultural artifact, well, you're looking at them. Every part of me is something done by a scientist. And some, and the, the people who, who don't like gene editing or designer babies believe that when a baby has been edited, he loses, he or she loses their potential, they lose their chance in the world, they, the doors are closed off for them because they are put into a box of something that can be. They aren't given a chance to grow, and I disagree. If I want to play sports, I can. I'm good at it. If I want to play music, I can. If I want to do good in a class, I can. Or if I want to help somebody who can't do good in that class, I can. I can do things that people who give random chance for genes can't. That is just a fact. Now, designer babies are part of a larger thing called gene editing. And gene editing has an incredible potential for success. Gene editing can stop genetic diseases in humans. Actually, 37% of the 47.6% of my DNA that has been changed went towards me no longer having genetic diseases. I can't get sick. I also can heal incredibly quickly, so I fall out of a tree. We'll be fine in a couple of hours. But the most important thing about gene editing is its use on GMOs and food, which is incredible because GMOs have been, they, they were doing a lot of bad stuff. Bees going away, uh, tomatoes not tasting as good, but with gene editing with food, gene editing is more precise. It can make precise alterations to genes in specific locations of the native genome, often knocking out certain genes or changing their location, all without introducing foreign DNA, according to Futurism. Foreign DNA is most part of GMOs, which is why it's kind of bad for you. But you, you like bees, right? You like bees? You like pollination? I'll just say in the future, use of gene editing on food, they come back. They come back strong. But now, I guess you're wondering, why is designer babies a cultural artifact? Why is it important? Because designer babies, when 
they are deemed ethical, will impact every culture for generations to come by changing the we as a people look at our differences. We as a species will transcend cultural boundaries to be something that, to look at something that every person on the planet could be a part of. When you look at yourself, you wonder, why am I different from this person? Why are they different than me? Why am I better? Why am I worse? With designer babies, you know why you're different. You don't have to worry about that. Oh, I'm short because my parents were like, eh, we'll leave that to chance. We'll see what happens. Or I'm good at sports because my parents were like, yeah, we want him to play sports. You know who you are. You know why you are who you are. So instead of looking at yourself, you can look at others and see why they are who they are and can understand them and comply with them. And then when you're not looking at yourselves and you're not looking at others, you can look to the future. You can look to the stars. You don't have to worry about what's in here. You know what's in here. Then you can look to making this world better, making the galaxy better. And why is it important to you? You're never going to have designer DNA in you. Because your generations, your blood, somewhere down the line, could live in a cleaner, healthier, smarter, and a more productive future. And all of this, all of this good that can come from gene editing, starts with gene editing and designer babies. Thank you.